If we had to choose between french fries and onion rings or Chicago versus New York style pizza, we know exactly which ones we're choosing. We know. We know. But we came up with a variety of this or that food related questions that we could not answer with certainty. And today we're gonna see if we can make up our minds. Now we're hoping that eating this or that back to back will help us do that very thing. And we're gonna kick things off starting with our undecided cheesy comfort food of choice. And those two things are mac and cheese or grilled cheese. Okay, I, I, I killed it on this grilled cheese. Look at this color. Let's get a cross section. Oh yeah, there is so much cheese in this. Loaded. Man, we've gotta make a decision here and I'm a little intimidated wow. already. I cut it like this, you cut it diagonal. You're gonna have to comment what you do. All right, let's give it a shot. That's, that is a lot of cheese. Nicely done. Let's hop over to the mac and cheese and give that a shot. All right. Man, going with the uh, the deli style cheese and the potato bread was a great move. But I went, I went hard on that butter. We, right. did, we did not make the mac and cheese though. That is from KFC as you probably saw in the intro. I surprisingly like KFC's mac and cheese. They do a good job. All right, so as we make our way through our most difficult this or that's, we're gonna answer some of the internet's most difficult this or that food questions. Starting with, burgers or pizza? Pizza. I think I've made up my mind, but before we reveal that, we should try the two together. I'm game for that. All right. Man, I love this mac and cheese though. You're gonna have to comment mac and cheese if you wanna see us do a massive mass mac and cheese video. <laughs> <laughs> where we do like a showdown of all the different restaurant mac and cheeses because that would be so much fun. Yeah, because we haven't tried a whole lot of them. No. That hits. There's something about that. Mm -hmm. Now in the intro, we answered the very popular French fry versus onion ring with our controversial answer of onion rings. But what about onion rings or mozzarella sticks? That's an extremely difficult one, but I think mozzarella sticks. I can't wait to hear what you're thinking. These are gonna be some hard decisions. I was hoping that the side-by-side -side or the back-to-back -back would definitely help make it a little bit clearer, but I think I do have made up my mind. I think I'm going grilled cheese. I think so too. We, we, again, it, everything here is probably gonna be extremely difficult to choose between, but the mac and cheese has that creaminess going for it, but the grilled cheese has the buttery fried bread and then the gooey melty cheese. And I think that if I had to choose between the two, that's gonna be the decision. I think so, but the combination I think was ultimate. All right, that was great. I think uh, I know what's gonna happen next though. Okay. Because we asked this question in a video recently and we ourselves couldn't answer it. And that is, are you going for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or a fluffinutter sandwich? Which if you don't know what a fluffinutter is, it is peanut butter and marshmallow fluff or marshmallow cream. People in, the, bread. people in the comments section seem to be having a difficult time making up that, just making their decisions as well. This is actually the one I anticipate being potentially the most soul crushing. Yes, because both, both are extremely nostalgic. But we will, make up, we will make up our minds. Where do you want to start? You want to start with the fluffernutter? Yes. Okay, let's do that. So again, it just looks like bread there, so I'll, I'll show you. You made this. How much peanut butter are you put in there? A good amount. Oh, All right, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll cut it quick. I love how we're cutting our sandwich in different directions. I know. I, can't, I didn't see that coming from a mile away. I can't wait to see where people land on the uh, diagonal versus uh, uh, horizontal. I don't know. <laughs> mm. That is pure nostalgia. And seeing we're onto peanut butter, let's go with which of the more popular spread, peanut butter or Nutella? Peanut butter all day. What's more difficult for us is peanut butter or Biscoff, which I think has shifted to Biscoff. I think I want to do what you did last round. Move on to the peanut butter and jelly, and then try the combination before we finish that. That's a good idea. I know people. I know people actually do peanut butter jelly and fluff as well, and so that'll be fun to try that one again as well. It's been a very long time. All right, PB and J. Nice, nice amount of jelly. And peanut butter and jelly is something that I'm nearly always in the mood for. Yeah, and I think that don't, a lot of people don't put enough of the fillings. All right, let's finish off the lunchbox. You going potato chip or corn chip? Corn chip, Doritos over Lay's all day. What about Oreo versus Chips Ahoy? Oreo, no ifs, ands, or buts. You read my mind. Yep. All right, I'm gonna make mine like a club sandwich. 
Oh, nice move. I'm just gonna go for the double sack. All right, let's do it. It's a lot of bread on mine, but it's unbelievable. That's perfect. You're gonna have to answer first here. I'm so curious as to if you're gonna agree with me. Or maybe we should say it at the same time so there's no cheating. I stand by what I said earlier though. This is going to be heartbreaking, but I think it is. This, this, is, have this is soul crushing, but let's do it. Three, two, one, P, B, and J. Wow, it, it's, for me, it's that, it's that, uh, it's the moisture from the jelly that's really changing things a little bit, and also just like, it's so contrasting. The, the fluffy nutter feels a little bit more dessert-like, mm -hmm. but, um, man, I, yeah, I, I'm making the decision. Yeah. I'm going PB and J. Like you said, I think the other one was a little bit dessert-like, but the peanut butter and jelly has the fruity, a little bit of acidity from the actual, um, from the jelly, and then the nuttiness from the peanut butter. You get the sticky, but you also get the, uh, the a little bit more hydrated quality. Anyways, that is my assessment. I'm amazed that we actually agreed on that one. Okay, we're gonna have to move, th move things along though, and I think that we should do a side-by-side, -side, the right side-by-side. -side. We just had a bunch of rights last week, and after having the eclair, we ended up in a big debate on whether we would prefer this, like, I'll, I'll wait till he opens it. We got in a debate on whether we'd prefer that mega eclair that we had in last week's video, or cannolis. And I still have no, have, haven't made up my mind, and so we have to do this side by side to see if we can figure out which we prefer. Because Reitz was out of cannolis when we went for last week's video, and we, yeah, ended up in the conversation of not having a clue about whether we would choose an eclair or a cannoli. Which one are we going for first? Um, let's do the cannoli. Okay, so here we've got two small cannolis. Chocolate chips on one side, pistachios on the other. All right, let's pound them, and then we'll show them this, and we'll dive into that, and then we'll, we'll just share our opinions. All right. Man, I know that the whole point of the video is having to choose between two very difficult options, and the whole reason we don't have a formulated opinion on them is because it is, in fact, difficult. Mm -hmm. But this is more difficult than I even anticipated. Seriously. Okay, again, if you didn't see last week's video, we'll put a card up. You gotta go watch that one. It was so much fun. Okay, you clear. All right, probably the most popular this or that dessert question being cake or ice cream? Cake, always choosing cake over ice cream. Now, what about vanilla or chocolate? Vanilla, I used to be chocolate as a kid, but now definitely vanilla, same. I think they filled that more than my one from last week. And also, I wish that they could make that eclair shell and the chocolate ganache on top and fill that with cannoli filling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I totally agree. That would be amazing. But do you want to continue with the trend of saying the same answer at, or saying the answer at the same time and seeing if they're the same? Yes, I think so. But um, before we do that, I think that this is harder than the PB&J, to be honest. This is the most soul-crushing thing that I'm going to have you have to be decisive about. But let's do it. Three, two, one, eclair. eclair. All right. Wow, look, at we're, we are ending up with the same exact answers. I, ah, man, it's hard. It's, it is by like the, is it by a hair, but I'm going with the eclair. I know, I think ultimately, I like the fact that there's a little bit more chocolate, and I think that I prefer the exterior of the eclair more than the cannoli shell, personally. Yeah, but, but I the think cannoli I, filling, I absolutely adore. Yeah, I think I prefer the cannoli filling, but I, I definitely agree that I like the, the frosting. Having the chocolate on top changed things for sure. Crazy. Yes. All right, next up, let's do Taco Bell, because we said in a recent video that the quesarito was the best Taco Bell item. And then that got us into a debate after that video on whether we were correct or not. Yeah, because we were not sure between the quesarito or the chalupa. All right, where are we starting? Chalupa, okay. Okay, I'm excited about this. We ordered both with extra cheese, and so they both have extra cheese. They're gonna be loaded, so they're, I guess, a little bit different than what you just straight up order on the menu. Who doesn't like extra cheese? Whoever thinks that they don't like extra cheese is just lying to themselves. Okay. That is very good. Oh my god. I think when ordering extra cheese, 
I think they put nacho cheese in that. <laughs> and I'm not mad about it. No, it was very good. Yeah, get your chalupa with nacho cheese. Ooh, okay. This is, this is looking real good. Extra cheese also in this. It's already cheesy enough. It's a quesadilla meets a burrito. All right. That is so salty. And again, I'm not mad about it, no. All right, let's rapid fire a few. Hard or soft taco? Soft taco. All right, corn or flour tortilla? I'm going flour tortilla all day. All right, how about guac or queso? That's definitely the most difficult of the group, but I think I would go queso. I think I agree with you there. The side-by-side -side is coming through for us on this one, in my opinion. Okay. I was gonna say that that was a debate worth having. Mm-hmm. Because that is, the chalupa is the one thing to contend with the quesarito for me. Yes, it's absolutely amazing. But I do have a clear winner, personally. Let's hear for it. me, quesarito all day. I agree. I think if I can only choose one, that's the one I'm going for. It is way more salty than the, than the chalupa. Absolutely. And I think that it could benefit from the use of the tomatoes and some of those fresh ingredients that were in the chalupa, mm -hmm. but overall, quesarito was. Yeah, it's so funny with the, the chalupa is fried, but yet it somehow feels fresher than the, than, the, than the quesarito. But love the quesarito. Okay, next up. This is a big debate for us that I don't know if many people will be able to relate with. But we grew up on breakfast breads. Our mom made them all the time and they were absolutely amazing. We, we just like, they're very nostalgic for us. And we have never been able to make up our minds between these two. A banana bread loaf and a zucchini bread loaf. This is gonna be tough for us. Yeah. We brought the ones from Wright's because there is no better zucchini or banana bread in the world than these. And they're very, very heavy. Like this thing I think is like over a pound and a half or something. Yeah. You have no idea just how heavy they really feel. Where do you want to start with this one? Ah, uh, man. I think banana. Okay, let's do it. Check out this banana, banana loaf. Again, this thing weighed, I think, over a half pound when I weighed it out before coming in here. I should have shown you a whole. But let's eat this part. That is top tier banana loaf. That is the best banana bread you'll ever eat. Now we brought banana nut and zucchini bread because they are at the same exact level for us. But our favorite breakfast bread is a pumpkin apple bread with a streusel topping warm with butter. Hop it over to the zucchini bread. Oh my gosh. That banana bread is blowing my mind. It is so unbelievably moist, feels so old school. And if you haven't watched last week's video, which you should, Wright's Dairy Farm is a local uh, dairy farm and bakery here in Rhode Island. And so everything's like super fresh ingredients and it's absolutely incredible. That banana bread is un unreal. Yeah. Try the zucchini bread, okay. This might be the hardest decision yet. I feel like we're gonna say it every time. All right, more breakfast foods. Are you going pancake or waffle? I'm going pancake and I know that you agree. So inside the pancake, are you going blueberries or chocolate chips? Chocolate chips for pancakes. It's so hard. It's so hard, but I'm gonna be decisive here. I think I know which I'm choosing. All right, let's hear it. I'm going zucchini bread, which is crazy because I am the world's biggest hater of zucchini. I hate zucchini so much, but somehow zucchini bread, probably because there's not that much zucchini in it, it just wins me over every single time. The thing that zucchini bread always has is that touch extra moisture mm -hmm. than any other bread. And I think that the ban like banana bread in general is so great, but I would want the zucchini bread more often. Mm -hmm. If I get to just eat delicious breads all the time. <laughs> Unlimited amounts of bread, breakfast bread. But okay, we've got one more round with that we're gonna use this, these breads for, which is what is the better pairing for yeah. a breakfast bread? We have more than one round, but mm -hmm. this is like a part two to this round. Yes. Okay, it is going to be whether you should put butter or cream cheese on a breakfast bread. Now, most people that are, have been subscribed to this channel for a little while know that we are the biggest fans of cream cheese that have ever lived. We love it more than anyone, but we grew up on, on breakfast bread with copious amounts of butter on it. And so we've actually never had cream cheese on breakfast bread. And so it'll be interesting to see which one comes out on top, our beloved cream cheese or our nostalgic butter.
Okay, see, we started with the banana bread. But I think we'll start with the, let's start with the butter. And I know this is a ridiculous amount of butter, but <laughs> that's how we like it. We're starting with the butter on which one? Uh, let's start with the butter with the banana bread and then the butter on the zucchini bread. Okay. We'll follow that order of banana bread and zucchini. Okay. Butter. The salt. Ooh. The salt coming through with that sweet. Mm -hmm. All right, being onto butter and cream cheese, are you going bagel or are you going English muffin? Oh, I'm going bagel for sure, but what about donut versus cinnamon roll? Oh, I know we both are choosing cinnamon rolls over donuts, especially with cream cheese frosting. The butter's down. I'm interested to see how this holds up next to that. That is honey pecan cream cheese. I know we're not voting, or we're not really giving it to this per se, but I think the butter on the banana bread may have been the superior combination of the two. I think we're gonna disagree there. I'm going with the zucchini bread. Wow. All right, let's give this a shot. That's phenomenal too, but I am eating the zucchini bread, not the banana bread. All right, so we've had bananas and zucchini in the breads. So that brings us to the question, are you going fruits or vegetables? I'll always choose fruits over vegetables. And with the fruits, are you going melons or berries? I'm a melon guy through and through. Yeah, I'm a berry guy. So that's a place we've always had a difference in opinions. Both were incredible. Yeah, both were absolutely incredible. But I do know which one I'm choosing. I think that our regular subscribers out there are very excited to hear what we have to say about th those two. Mm -hmm. Because they know us better than anybody mm -hmm. and how much we rave about cream cheese. But I think on the breads, I'm going salted butter. Absolutely, 100%, I'm going with the whip. Yeah, well, we went with whipped butter. We never usually had it with whipped butter when we were younger, but that was perfect, oh absolutely God. amazing. And I was wrong, I did misstate something earlier. We have had cream cheese on breakfast bread. We did it in uh, in an episode, um, I think last fall. We had tried like pumpkin cream cheese on pumpkin, uh, like a pumpkin loaf. Oh yeah, yeah, we did do that. Yeah, so we have had it before, but it's definitely going to the butter, no doubt. Yeah, All right. that was surprisingly, for the biggest cream cheese lovers on the planet, that may have been the easiest round. Yeah, seriously. Okay, last one? Yes. All right. The last round. We are huge advocates for the Walmart Bakery. They have some very good items, some low quality items, but we have decided that these are the two best items from the Walmart Bakery, and we have had a very difficult time choosing between the two on what we think is worthy of being labeled the number one item at the Walmart Bakery. And that is ooey gooey bars, and then the birthday frosting filled sandwich cookies. Both very plain options, but they're the ones that hit hardest for us. They do a great job with both of them. Where do you want to start? Do you want to start with the ooey gooey bar? Yeah, let's do that. Yes. The runner up for me was their French style cheesecake mousse. That was one that I think is an extremely high contender, but these are the top two that I can't decide between. Yes, and this one is a shortbread crust with like a gooey vanilla topping. And we only have some of it because a family, a family member requested some of the items when we purchased them and we didn't want to say no. For those to be my top two items, I'm still blown away by how good that is. It's so buttery. Between between the butter in the shortbread crust and then that, what they describe as like a buttery vanilla filling on top. I don't know if it's just because it's 90 degrees in here or not, but that's the gooeyest, the gooeyest they've ever been to. Wow. Okay, sandwich cookies. How am I gonna choose? I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh my gosh, these sandwich cookies are a 10 out of 10, but if you could only choose one for the rest of time, are you going for a cookie or a brownie? If we're talking traditional brownie, then I'm going cookie. But if we include blondies in the brownie category, that becomes a lot more difficult because I think I'm going blondie. That would, that, this one's harder than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Ending on that mm. is the worst way we could have ended because I do not know how to make that decision. I think I'm going to make one but it's a tough one and I'm not 100% sure I'll stick with it for the rest of time, even though I will take most of these very seriously for the rest of time. And I think I'm going ooey gooey bar. You know what? That was, I was trying to think between the two. I think that the masses, the one I would recommend to the masses is the sandwich cookie. I think that like, if you really like super sweet things, that that item would satisfy nearly all of the sugar heads out there. Mm -hmm. But for me, 
I think I agree that the ooey gooey bar is the, is the number one item in the Walmart bakery. The vanilla flavor is just coming through a lot. And actually, I think that the tame, the little bit more tame sweetness made it feel a little bit more elevated than the sandwich cookie, which could come across uh, especially cloying to a lot of people. But I personally love both of them so much. And I don't know how I'm... I, they, they get to stay our top two favorite items from the Walmart bakery. Absolutely. But for the sake of the video and having to choose one, I guess we've awarded a winner. Yeah, the, the winner, the best item in the Walmart bakery, apparently, is the ooey gooey bar. That was incredible though. I had a great time with all of that. Very difficult decisions, but I think that we walked away with a lot of them like made for the rest of time. Yeah, that was that was a that was a whole lot of fun. Yeah, I think that I, I am going to award a winner of the day. I think my favorite thing of the day, the favorite item was the zucchini bread. The zucchini bread with the butter. Yes. For me, I think that that may have been the mix between nostalgia, elevated, high quality, overall just awesome. Yes. Anyways, you guys are going to have to let us know in each round which one that you would go for, if it's an easy decision for you or not. Let us know. I mean, for me, that couldn't have been a more difficult decision making process, but I think we did a pretty good job of being decisive. Mm -hmm. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Again, let us know what you thought. Uh, make sure to give the video a thumbs up while you're here. Comment something fun down below. If, if you don't want to play the game with us, just say what's up to us. Subscribe to the channel. If you are not yet subscribed, we have a whole lot of fun here. We have a lot of fun things coming. We will see you again, hopefully, in the next video.